that it's helping you. Hi, Tammy. Thank you so much for joining. If this is good information for you, if it helps you, please share it on your timeline and then any of your friends can see it and they can watch the replay because once it once it's on I mean they can watch it live once you share it but once it's on the replay will remain and they can watch the replay at any time so if you think it's good information please share it on your timeline that is a big help to your friends um, to let them know that here's some healthy information free of charge that you are giving them I uh, want to let you know, hi Tim Reader, how are you doing? want to let you know a little bit about the, Feb the March Challenge over at Sue Kaufman Fitness. And if you would like to join, it, all you need to do is go to Sue Kaufman Fitness. You just type it in uh, in the search bar in Facebook and you'll be able to go there and like the page if you haven't already. And this month we are doing a flexibility challenge. So about once or twice a week, I will put a Brett Larkin yoga video on and that don't don't be freaked out about yoga anybody can do her yoga because she uh, does a lot of really good beginner 10 minute 15 minute videos that can just get you started and I posted two really good uh, really good beginner ones on there already and one is my ultimate favorite it's like uh, morning yoga which I do a lot of times I do it other times than just morning so um, it's a really good one to, to do anytime really you can use it I use it a lot of times for um, I'm a little bit sore I need to stretch out or uh, I need to get some flexibility in after a tough workout so I use it a lot of times for things like that don't usually do it in the morning because I'm up and out of here going to school in the mornings usually but I do use it on a regular basis at least once a week I use that one but I'm going to post some other ones she also does a lot of good ones for um, like for example yoga for sciatica yoga for tight hips uh, yoga for back pain she has a lot of uh, a lot of good videos like that too so I'll put one or two on a week and the challenge is that you add flexibility training to your workout routine. Hi Karen, hi, thanks for joining. How are you doing? It's so nice to see you here. <clears throat> so you add, you, you add some flexibility training once a week using the yoga videos and just post on Sue Kaufman Fitness and let me know how it's, how it's going. And you can, once they're posted, you can use any of, the, any of them anytime. Just go back, scroll through, use them. It's great. You can also subscribe to her channel, Brett Larkin Yoga, and you'll have access to all her videos plus anytime she puts one up new you've got it so that's what's going on at Sue Kaufman, Kaufman Fitness that you can get involved in too so tonight we are talking about fiber why do you need fiber fiber is a really important part of your diet and unfortunately uh, thanks Tammy for sharing the video thank you so much for sharing the video so now some of your friends can get uh, access to it too that's great so why is it so important that you include fiber in your diet? Uh, Americans get woefully low amounts of fiber. So the reasons you need it, I'm going to let you know tonight. Plus I'll let you see, I'm going to use some visuals and show you, you might be able to, oh, there's some of my visuals back there, uh, show you uh, some good source of, sources of fiber. So here I took a lot of notes so I could tell you about Hi Elaine, how are you doing? Are you still in Florida? Is the weather nice there? Thank you for taking time out of your nice day to join me here at Sue Kaufman Fitness. I mean, I mean real life fitness. Uh, so here's the benefits of fiber. Hey Corey, thanks for coming in. It's good to see you. I'm so glad you joined me. I hope school's going well for you down at LIS. I haven't seen you lately, but I hope everything's good there. All right, so <clears throat> benefits of fiber. Number one. Hey, thanks for the thumbs up. Boy, I love those a lot. The number one reason, or it's not number one, but there's a lot, there's like, I have 10 reasons here why fiber is important. You might know some of these and some of them you might have no idea about. So the first thing on the list is it keeps your cholesterol down because especially soluble fiber will block cholesterol from going into your bloodstream. So to keep your cholesterol low, or if you have a cholesterol problem, your doctor might tell you to to eat more fiber, especially soluble fiber. The second reason, it helps you maintain a healthy weight. If you eat foods that are high in fiber, they will make you feel fuller for longer. 
It will help your blood sugar stay at an even level, which is another one of the things on the list. And in that respect, it will help you lose weight or keep your health, healthy weight. Uh, stabilizes your blood sugar levels. It keeps you from having those spikes where you go, you eat something and you've got a high blood sugar and then you crash and then you feel fatigued and you feel kind of fuzzy headed because the fiber will help release the sugar more slowly into your bloodstream. But I don't know if you knew that, but that's true. So that's another reason. Keeps you regular. Thanks for the thumbs ups folks. Hey, Vicki Henry, how are you doing? Girl who doesn't have much time to to uh, be a full-time teacher anymore. Are you gonna join this, the ranks of the substitutes or are you just gonna go off into the sunset and do something totally different? Um, so thanks for joining. I love to see my teacher friends here. So it keeps you regular. You probably knew that about fiber. So it keeps you from having lots of bouts of constipation and then diarrhea and it can keep, and if you're regular, it keeps the toxins and the waste from kind of getting backed up in your system, which can then make you feel tired and sluggish and blah. So that's another reason you should eat fiber. Keeps your bowels and your colon healthy. So it'll help you avoid things like, um, like irritable bowel syndrome um, and hemorrhoids. And nobody wants those, right? We'd like to avoid those if we could. So eat more fiber. Lowers your risk of heart disease. Again, because it keeps your cholesterol level low and it lowers your blood pressure, which we'll talk about here later. It can help you lower your risk of heart disease. It may help prevent cancer. The studies are kind of inconclusive. Hey April, thanks for joining. Good to see you here. One of my former clients, good to see you here. It will, it may help prevent cancer. The studies are, you know, they're not, they're not like conclusive, but they thank you for the thumbs up. Oh boy, I love to see those going across there. Thank you so much. Studies are maybe a little inconclusive, but it may help prevent cancers like breast cancer, colon cancer, and prostate cancer. So, you know, can't hurt, right? Even if the studies are inconclusive. It will help your skin look healthier. Thank you for the thumbs up. It will help your skin look healthier because again, it's helping flush the toxins out of your system and they don't get backed up and will help you feel more energetic. Same reason, things won't get backed up in your digestive system um, and you won't have to deal with those toxins that should be getting flushed out because they'll be getting flushed out. So it'll make you uh, feel like you're more energetic. And the last reason is it will lower your stroke risk, risk because it lowers your cholesterol and helps to lower your blood pressure. So those are 10 great reasons for you to eat more fiber. Now, what is the amount of fiber you should have? Well, according to the National Fiber Council, hey, I see a surprise, a surprise face. Did somebody learn something they didn't know? Is that why you have your surprise face? According to the um, National Fiber Council, they say that for every person, you should have at least, you should have 32 grams a day for a healthy adult. Now, we probably eat about 10 to 15 grams less than that on you know an average American. So we need to increase our fiber. Um, some other sources say men should have 30 to 38 grams, women should have 25 to 35 grams. So that's just some things to throw out there. Um, if you kept track, most Americans are getting way less fiber than they should and way more sugar and carbs than they should have. So let's try to put some fiber in and get some of that other garbage out, right? So here are, thanks for the thumbs up, here are some good sources of fiber, which I brought some visuals to show you and sorry, but the words will be backwards. Oatmeal is a very good source of soluble fiber which was the first, on the first thing on here said, um, it'll keep your cholesterol down if you eat soluble fiber. Very good source of soluble fiber. Just to give you an example, in um, one, thank you for all the thumbs up, I love it. Um, in one serving of oatmeal, you've got four grams of fiber, two of them are soluble. So, oatmeal, good source of fiber. Another good source of fiber are obviously fruits. What has, what makes the fiber in fruits? The skin on the apples, I don't peel it off, all right? And the actual fiber that's within the apple itself. Thank you for all the thumbs up, I love it. So fruits, I have strawberries here too. Strawberries will also, also are a great source of fiber. 
So a lot of different fruits. Oranges, because you've got the, the um, stringy encasement of oranges. Um, it's another good source. Blueberries, you get the skin on the blueberries. All right, And you want to try to keep, like you eat a potato, like that, you, that, hi Matthew Murray, how are you doing? I haven't seen you forever. Um, at the grocery store, taking my cart outside or getting my cart and taking it back inside, right? That's where I see you now. Um, like, say you eat a baked potato, eat the skin, because there is where the fiber is. You don't eat the skin, you lose the fiber. Vegetables are another great source of fiber. So here's some carrots. Leafy greens are another great source of fiber. And the dark leafy greens have more vitamins and nutrients in them. So try to get the dark leafy ones instead of like the iceberg lettuce because that is kind of nutrient devoid. Um, whole grain foods. So here's some whole wheat. What are these? Whole wheat wraps. All right. So now obviously you're not going to be able to see how many grams of fiber are in uh, like your fruits and vegetables and things. But if you go, myplate.gov is a great place to go and look, look that up. You can find those kinds of things out on there. Choose myplate.gov. You can find those things out. Here are some whole wheat wraps. All right, so any kind of whole grain foods. Um, in a serving of this, which is one wrap, you get seven grams of dietary fiber. So woohoo for that. And nuts, nuts and seeds have fiber in them. And this has three grams per serving. Sliced almonds, I have some of these with raisins every day. Raisins would have fiber too because they were grapes and they have skin, right? So the raisins have fiber also. The only thing I didn't have in my cupboard that I could show you that's a good source of fiber are beans. So beans are a good source of fiber and they are slow release. So they help with the blood sugar and things. So hi Holly Harshbarger, thanks for coming in and joining. It's so good to see you all here. That is my show for tonight. So it will replay. So if you if you just got here and you're like, oh darn, it's over already, just watch it on replay and you'll get all the information you need. So if you thought that was helpful to you, please share it on your timeline because then all your friends will get to see it too. Thanks for the heart, love that. And um, then they can watch it and they can get all the uh, good information about fiber that you just got. So again, thanks for joining me. I love to see my friends here. I love to see uh, new people here that I haven't seen before and I saw a few tonight. So that's great. I'm here, uh, I'm here every night unless I let you know because I'm away or something. Every night at 8.30, I do another broad, bye Ryan, I do another broadcast of Real Life Fitness and it's always some kind of health or fitness tip for real people who live busy lives. So thanks so much, share it out and we'll see you next Wednesday night at 8.30. Bye everybody.